Well, it seems as though the PlayStation VR 2 isn't the only product grabbing attention in the virtual reality world in 2023. The Vive XR Elite, the newest VR headset from HTC, was unveiled at CES 2023. It will be released this year as a standalone headset equipped with the most recent corporate technologies. Now, the question is, what kind of aspects does it come with? Is it as cool as advertised? Without further ado, let's get started. The HTC XR Elite Because the HTC Vive XR Elite is an AR-VR hybrid device, it is compatible with both augmented and virtual reality. While wearing a VR headset, you cannot see your surroundings. However, internal cameras in AR allow you to see your surroundings in full color. The extended items are then essentially transposed into their actual environments. The HTC Vive XR Elite is fantastic, since it's a fully independent headset, which is the current craze. This means you can quickly move around the real world while using VR mode without worrying about tripping over wires. Parts Recycling This headset supports HTC's technique of reusing modules from older headsets to build new ones to improve the efficiency of the production process. The Vive Pro 2, for example, resembled both the Vive Pro 1 and the Vive Focus 3. Instead, this headset appears to be a hybrid of the Vive Flow and the Focus 3. The glasses style is quite like that of the Flow, while the controls are the same as those of the Focus 3. Because of this, Brad Lynch gave it the nickname, the Flocus. You might be wondering, what are the most notable features of this device? Specifications and Features Contrary to other HTC products, the Vive XR Elite is focused on gaming, fitness, productivity, and on-the-go content consumption. The latter is made possible by a convertible battery head strap that can be unplugged to make way for temple pieces that resemble glasses. It's a unique feature that allows you to recline in a chair without worrying about a sizable back-mounted battery, which is a first for any major VR headset. The new flagship's physical design strongly borrows from the glasses-like look of the current HTC Vive Flow model. The Vive XR Elite, on the other hand, was made with everything in mind, unlike that Vive family member, which was primarily made for media consumption. HTC has leaned into its all-in-one catchphrase by providing the device with the necessary hardware. Users can experience social spaces in the new Viveverse, HTC's version of the Metaverse, and mixed reality applications via the device's full-color RGB pass-through cameras, casual or intense VR games, and more. With hand-tracking technology and full-color RGB pass-through cameras, the Vive XR Elite enables mixed reality activities like setting up a virtual workspace with several screens while still using your keyboard and mouse and playing video games with characters that appear in your home. Most of the XR Elite's other specifications are decent, but not particularly innovative for a 2023 VR headset. Another impressive feature is the 110-degree field of view and 4K resolution with 90Hz refresh rate of HTC's Vive headset. Customers who seek games, passive media, and work applications in a reasonably light package may consider the Vive XR Elite. But despite HTC's claim of a thin and light design, the Vive XR Elite weighs 625 grams, making it heavier than the MetaQuest 2, but noticeably lighter than the 722 gram Quest Pro. It's lightweight, even with the battery, and has an integrated slider for adjusting interpupillary distance. The headset's battery is easily replaceable and can be charged quickly using a 30 watt USB C power source. The Vive XR Elite reportedly offers a more immersive experience with improved bass by enhancing the soundstage with more prominent speakers. Users can stream PC material wirelessly through Wi-Fi or the newest version, Wi-Fi 6E, with minimal latency and high-quality visuals using HTC's new Mixed Reality headset. Accessing PC VR content through Vive Port and Stream can simply be connected to a PC via USB-C. Moreover, users can stream media from Android cell phones that are compatible. Accuracy-enabled physical controllers are included with the Vive XR Elite, when the hand tracking guarantees playing games or working. If you want to track, you can wear or attach a Vive wrist tracker to objects in the mixed reality environment. The headset also comes with a few additional peculiar functions, some of which HTC hinted at in an interview with The Verge. If you wear glasses, a lens diopter adjustment option should allow you to use the device without them, in addition to a lens spacing adjuster. A back-mounted battery that HTC claims will last about two hours is part of the headset's weight. It is hot-swappable for extended usage periods, 
A small backup battery in the primary headset will keep it functioning for approximately 10 minutes while you swap out the depleted main battery for a new one. The headset has a battery life of close to 10 hours and can be recharged through USB-C and its controllers. Users can experience precise movement into VR and MR material thanks to four wide field of view cameras, outstanding 6DOF spatial accuracy, a depth sensor, hand tracking, and capacitive sensing for finger movements on the controllers. The games that will be available on the Vive XR Elite at launch are Demio, Hubris, Yuki, Maestro The Masterclass, Les Mills Body Combat, Figmin XR, Unplugged, Air Guitar, Finger Gun, and others. According to the developers, more content, including Everslot Invasion and full MR games like Eggscape, will be uploaded after the debut. The Software HTC intends to release the Vive XR Elite and a host of compatible software and services to take advantage of all of this hardware, developing a brand new two-floor adjustable social area that will serve as the wearer's virtual home is one of the company's software goals for its launch window. By stepping through paintings on their walls, users can enter new worlds and access HTC's Viveverse virtual universe through this space. Users can also access their games and apps through this area. Moreover, a partnership with Lamina One is established to provide an open metaverse ecosystem for society that will make it simpler to access cross-world, cross-platform assets, including avatars, clothing, and other items. Moreover, the company planned to collaborate with production companies to provide custom avatar accessories and audio experiences. Given its current features and technical specifications, do you anticipate the HTC Vive XR Elite will surpass the other VR headsets? How many customers are genuinely going to buy it? Do you think there will be any conflicts between consumers and producers? Consumer-prosumer mismatch In any case, this headset contributes to the confusion between headsets designed for commercial and those for consumers. To be honest, HTC started this trend before the others, but now businesses like Meta have joined it. Currently, Pico is the only company that is clearly dividing its production lines. Although the Vive XR Elite costs roughly $1,100, it is also meant to be a consumer product. Because of this, HTC discusses the game's compatibility with it when it launches. However, honestly, hardly any buyer will pay $1,100 for it. You were there when VR first emerged. At that time, only a small group of people and experts were purchasing the headsets, which cost around $1,000. We've repeatedly observed over the years that the cost of XR products was an important component in their commercial success. We're willing to wager that at $1,100, the ordinary customer might never buy one. And as you can remember, we all agreed that the Quest Pro was also too pricey for customers. HTC asserts that there is room for professional users and mentions the Nintendo Switch Pro, but the truth is that devices for which there is a Pro version, such as the Switch or the iPhone, are ones for which firms are attempting to boost their game. Pro VR users are a niche within a niche, since VR headsets are still very specialized. The promised exciting features, like mixed reality and room scanning, also differ from what VR users request. Prosumers, developers, and companies are asking for these functionalities. The price is likewise in line with prosumer enterprise, as is HTC's reputation. As a result, some people will only consider this to be a prosumer enterprise device. And this raises the question of whether to purchase the device. The reason. The answer to that question largely depends on how deeply you connect with the idea of the metaverse. You can choose if you're sold on hybrid AR VR by seeking a cheaper, lighter option to the Quest Pro. Although we think AR has a bright future and will only improve, it is not yet ready for prime time. The Vive XR Elite's augmented reality capabilities only need sufficient developer support to be worthwhile. You might be better off with a more affordable entry-level gadget like the MetaQuest 2 or the impending Sony PSVR if you only want to participate in the 2023 VR onslaught. The Vive XR Elite doesn't feel as well as the MetaQuest Pro while being less expensive. HTC's Vive headsets have so far featured eye-catching designs, and the XR Elite looks fantastic and is an ideal combination of the Vive Focus 3 and the Vive Flow. With so many advanced features, this might be a dream come true for most of us. But anyway, what do you think of the all-new HTC Vive XR Elite standalone VR headset? Will this be the best VR headset? Comment down below!
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell.